Hi friends, welcome to Ansu. So today it is the 75th episode in the history series. So in the last episode of the history series, we discussed about the most popular writing script used in the world, the Latin script. So today we can discuss about the second most popular writing script that is used in the world, which is known as the Hanzi script. The script which is used to write many important languages like Chinese, some variations of Japanese, and some version variations of Korean too. Yes. So Japanese and Korean, like some of these languages, can be written in both of these scripts. I mean, their own scripts. That means from their own land and Chinese script. Okay. So let's start. So this script was first originally made. Uh, that means invented somewhere between 1290 to 1115, like BC. Yes. That means this script is like 3000 years old. It's a pretty old script. Yeah. So and. It also has two main types of variations. They are the main traditional type and the simplified type. Yes, so traditional type was like the old one, the main type which they used before 1949. So in 1949, the simplified script was invented, a more simple way of writing the language in Hanzi. I mean the Hanzi script. Yes. So yeah. Okay. So I mean. The Hanzi script is a type of language and writing system known as logograms. Yes. That means for example, we take this symbol. This is not actually a Chinese symbol, but it's an example symbol of a language which was never there, never invented. Okay. So, now so first normally in the like normal alphabets, we only take so each letter is a separate phonet, phoneme. Yes. But in logograms it's completely different they are mainly known as characters not letters yes okay so this makes a sound but again we can add on to it kind of and now it makes it has another sound added on to it so each character makes a syllable i mean like a morpheme that means a morpheme is like a prefix or suffix or the main part of a verb yes i mean a word yes so these So most Chinese words are only made up of two Chinese letters or Hanzi letters to be exact. Yes. And again some some of these syllables and these mono I mean yeah these monomes they can also be written with two of these scripts. I mean two of these things, two of these characters. Yes. So Chinese is pretty complicated. It has a pretty long history. And again there are many different ways of romanizing it. That means first romanization the term romanization means for example this thing this letter makes the sound sri like that. And then we turn it into Latin script. Yes. And like that. Okay. Just we are turning this letter into this. So this is just an example letter. No, there it is not in any language. I think as of now. Yes. So the Hanzi script is also used in many other countries. I mean many other languages is not I mean which are not Chinese for example, Japanese, Korean, some old versions of Vietnamese or some old versions of Thai and many other Southeast Asian con- languages. Yes, a bit older versions of them. Yes. So This is for today about this language I mean the Hanzi script bye